John here with the Homer Express Express Quest crew. This is Warren Middle School's Math Carnival, a carnival full of fun things to do, but mainly games all about math. And I made it my mission to become the carnival champion. So I decided to get a little help from some experts. Okay. Now this game is called Swapping Spots. Now, uh, you want to give me a brief uh, ex explanation of what, what we're doing here? How does this game work? I flip over a card. Okay. And then I flip over another card. Okay. And I didn't get it. So I flip these back over. Alright, now they have to match? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I pay another dollar. Another dollar. Two and then dollars I, I have to pick one of these that I want to swap. And okay. I chose this one. And then I get one of these. One of these cards. I put it right here. And then I got to try to do Ace. And she wins. And an ace and she wins. So she gets, yes. so she gets this money. She gets the money. I figured if they could win, then so could I. The next game I decided to try is four in a row. Like tic-tac-toe, I was confident that I had the strategy, the skill, and the right technique. Did I lose again? <laughs> My spirits were dropping, but I wasn't about to give up anytime soon. Okay, now what's this game called? It's called Sampy Hold'em, and your objective is to First, you calculate these two numbers together, and then you get cards zero through three, and then you gotta lay down what number you think is close to. Like, for example, these two, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1. Uh, you make your guess, and then, and, like, if you put zero, uh, it'd be closest to zero because 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.3. You know, I don't know if I want to let you know how this game ended. But let's just say that I had to add up two and two-thirds and round it to the closest whole number. And I didn't get three, which was the right answer. Okay, fine, I lost. Again. I met up with my pal Trey to play a game that everyone wins. Everyone. The object of the game is to grab a handful of colored blocks and write down the ratio. For example, if there were six blocks and there were three blues, two reds, and one yellow, the ratio of all the blocks to red would be six over two and the ratio of red to blue would be two to three. I could do this. Two. Guess what? What is the I blue, lost. Now blue tile. I was getting sick of this, so I went to a game that I could not lose. Plinko. It doesn't even take any skill or technique. I just had to drop a puck. Let's see what we can do here. Why? So maybe I didn't become Math Carnival Champion, but at least there's always next year.